are you? One of the millions of Americans who has student loan debt. The big breaking news coming out of D.C. this morning is that President Biden has found a workaround to the Supreme Court defeating his original plan when it comes to student loan debt forgiveness. So why don't we bring in our friend Shannon Bream over at Fox News Sunday here. We don't have a whole lot of information, but this is a big break for a lot of people, but not nearly as many people as the original plan would have affected. Yeah, and we'll see if this ends up right back in court because whenever the executive takes action that doesn't involve Congress, that involves a lot of money, um, what the Supreme Court just did in saying, you know, the executive doesn't have the power to do this. We'll see if this next way around actually works. And as you said, it would be a smaller pool of people. Um, but the White House has vowed, as they did the day this decision came down from the Supreme Court, which said you can't wipe away $430 billion uh, by an executive decision uh, in debt out there because we know that, you know, that money fills elsewhere and somebody's going to be paying back those loans um, one way or another. Um, we'll see if this new one makes it through. Uh, I would imagine a legal challenge that will be filed almost immediately as soon as we get details. Yeah, you know, a lot of people in the newsroom with student loan debt were saying, I feel like my emotions are on a roller coaster here. Right. Like it's forgiven. <laughs> I got to pay. How much are we paying? All right. So more details to come on that. But we do know it's for people who have already been making payments for several mm -hmm. years, decades in order to be eligible. You know what? One of the things also that's happening is we've got to get ready for 2024. So Iowa is getting ready for its earliest caucus ever. Mm -hmm. Primary season kicking off on January the 15th, which is probably why we have uh, former Vice President Pence and we also have uh, DeSantis in Iowa this weekend. Yeah, and there's a big event there. There's a group called the Family Leader. And so in Iowa, they are a huge powerhouse to represent evangelicals, which are the huge voting block out there in Iowa. They're hosting this candidate forum where everybody's going to come, almost everybody, not President Trump, but the others who are there um, really striving for votes and trying to make connections. And um, listen, it's, it's getting to be make or break season for a lot of folks, because if you want to get on the August 23rd debate stage, you're now starting to have to hit these milestones, according to the RNC criteria with polling, with donors, with unique donors, all those kinds of things. And of course, Iowa is that first big prize for the Republicans. January 15th, they've officially set their caucus date. So um, it feels like, yes, it is months away. But for a lot of these folks, they've already been running for months. And this is a big event this weekend there in oh, Iowa. We should mention, too, that the former president will be with your colleague, Sean Hannity, for a town hall mm -hmm. in Iowa. But that's coming up next week on Tuesday. Let's talk about yes. uh, Senator Tuberville, who is basically holding up mm -hmm. so many appointments in the military. Military, that would normally be um, something of a breaker for a lawmaker to kind of affect the military in such a way, leaving one of the branches, the Marine Corps, without anyone at the helm okay. here. So how long is he going to hold out? And is it possible that other Republicans can get him to kind of rein it in and make these appointments? They're starting to publicly break with him a little bit, but others are running to his defense saying, listen, he told the Defense Department months ago. I'm going to do this. If you guys do what he thinks is breaking federal law, which is providing funding assistance for service members who will travel out of state from where they're stationed to get abortions, he says no federal dollar can go to supporting abortion in any way, including travel expenses. So he said to the Defense Department, I'm going to do this if you don't change the policy. They didn't change the policy. So here we are now months later with hundreds of these promotions backed up. Um, he did have a call yesterday with Defense Secretary Austin, which people thought, OK, this is a step in the right direction. They haven't talked about this. This. Um, but the two sides actually talking, so we'll see if that bears any fruit. I don't think that one phone call will, but it's good that they've got the conversation going. And the fact is, these promotions could be moved through the system. They could be. It will just take much longer to do so if Senator Tuberville doesn't stand down on his blockade. All right, the lesson to be learned there, one person can make a difference, and I'm saying that yep. to all the people <laughs> who are like, I don't know if I'm going to vote this season. All right, so thanks so much for your time. We only get a few minutes with Shannon Breen, but you get a full hour with her for Fox News Sunday. It'll be right here on uh, Fox 26 on Sunday morning after Greg Grogan and What's Your Point?